side. How you do it? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your favorite fat boy, Shazam, the iPad producer, and I am on my way to NAM 2020. Man, every year about this time, I know once Christmas is over, I get another Christmas present, and I get to go to NAM. See all my YouTube compadres, my music compadres, and my video compadres. Man, I love it. I love it. For those of you that don't know who at the beginning of my uh, videos, that's Chris Lord Algae. It's one of my engineers that i look up to i've been following his work since the sugar hill gang um but yeah man i can't wait to see cla again and uh well i just wanted to go over some of the gear that i was going to be using to film all these interviews um i was tired of taking my big old heavy cameras uh, a few years ago i took the sony fs 100 uh last year i took a, a canon and i took a cell phone i think what was the canon my canon 80d I think so. It was either that or the SO2. I can't remember. No, nah, it was the ADD and the cell phone. And I very rarely pulled out the ADD and I did everything on my cell phone on a gimbal. But I couldn't get the audio that I wanted. So I was going to be prepared and I got a few things. So we're going to go over a few things kind of in the order that I bought it. I bought the uh, Zesso Globe Trade. I don't know. But I bought that was the first thing that I bought. And I bought that because I had planned on getting this cage right here. If you can see the cage. This is the Zecti cage. And I have a magic arm with my battery in there. I've already got this um, centered so when I put my phone in with the moment lens that it sits right. And then I can run a power cable to my uh, phone. And I had this Moza Air because I had it with my ADD. And it's a three axis gimbal. This is for the big boys. But when you try to put a phone on here, I mean, it just, it starts vibrating like crazy. So I had to add some weight. So I figured get the Zecti. Because the first thing I bought was this moment case. This case right here. This is the iPhone XS Max moment case. And it's been put through been put through some sh some shit um but it's pretty sturdy it's thick but it's pretty sturdy like if you see that's pretty thick uh, i can't show you with my iphone because i'm filming with my iphone but it's pretty thick but when you try and put it on the smooth q2 this little guy right here forgive me i'm trying to do this this guy right here this is a very sturdy, very metal, very durable, with a little clampy clamp to take your phone off easier. This thing right here is probably one of the best gimbals I've used for a cell phone. I've had the Smooth 4. I still have the Q original. I don't know why I didn't bring it in here, but it's in my car. But this right here is the business. But when you try to put that case on this it doesn't sit right and I don't know if you want to put your twelve hundred dollar phone in a gimbal and on a monopod over a bunch of people and hope it doesn't drop I want to make sure it doesn't drop okay so I got that so I was like okay I need to get a thinner case so I got the ultra thin uh, moment case for the iPhone XS Max and it, that thing is super thin and I, I, I'm gonna tell you when I put it on my phone it was the thinnest case I've ever had on my iPhone that being said I took it off to show it to you and it broke I ain't even got a chance to use it yet and it broke on me got a bat Batman ears Got a lazy dog ear and a Batman ear. You see that? I'm pretty sure I could have tried to take it off a little easier, but I didn't know the thing was going. I didn't know it was going to do that. So, yeah. Okay. So, I got my thick case. That still, it still works. It's just gonna much stab me. 
So, and then I got a version 2 Tele 58mm lens. And then I also just ordered from Amazon three days ago. Or actually one day ago, and it came, I think maybe one day or two days ago. The Moment Wide 18. I mean, I just got it. And the case, although it's ultra thin, if you look how thin it is, it's super thin. I mean, let me see if I can put it right here and show you. You see that? See how thin it is? But I guess I should have took better care, but I didn't know the thing was going to snap on me like that. Okay, so I got my case. I got my lenses. I got my different cage. Now, the Zecti is going on the Moza because it can handle some more weight. I can put my, and then that is for when I'm hand holding. So instead of me probably using this monopod, now I'm just going to use the Moza and then use this for handheld. Okay, so one thing that you got to have with a uh, video is you got to have good audio. So I went and ordered one of these. Now all these products I have, I'm going to list in the description so you can see what I got. You can see what works, might work for you, might not work for some. Like I said, I'm shooting on an iPhone. I got a super uh, unidirectional condenser microphone. And it's a boomy boom. That comes with some, that, it's a uh, boom mic that, let me see, I believe this is by, hold on, let me back up a little bit. If you can see, you put a little AAA battery in here now. I thought it didn't work because I forgot that I had to put a AA battery. I'm sorry, AA battery in here. You spin, unspin this, and uh, you put a AA battery in here, and that's how you get it to work. And it comes on an XLR cable with this super long ass cord, a tip ring sleeve. If you see, that's the tip ring and a sleeve now that's what normal microphones either come like that or they'll come with the tip and a sleeve or a ring and it just come with two of those and that's when you know it's super mono but I needed to be able to plug this into my iPhone without having to carry something that big so ladies and gentlemen this is what I did I went and got a generic lightning to USB adapter and the reason I got a generic one is because I didn't want a white one like this. Everything, all my wires, everything is black. And then I'm going to use this little, it, you could just see dongle in your setup. And I don't want dongle in my setup. So, I went on Amazon again and got this cheapo Hurricane, or I forgot how to say it. But I'll put it in there. Now, mind you, I have Amazon Prime. So, this thing told me it was going to be shipping the next day. Um, and then I got an update the, today saying that. It wasn't going to be here till tomorrow, and I was a little upset about that, but it came in the mail today, so that's pretty awesome, along with my boomy boom. Okay, so this plugs in to the iPhone. You got it? Let me, uh, hold on. Okay. This right here plugs into your iPhone, and then you plug your charger into that. And so I'm not going to have a charger. And best, tomorrow I'm going to go to Best Buy and get this little baby 4-inch cable that would take me from lightning to baby USB. And this thing is a 52, I think, 100 milliamp slim battery that I got from Walmart. And um, you plug that into this. And then you have this USB option. Now... Normally, you can plug in that USB into this adapter, and that's how you would get audio in and out of your iPhone or iPad. I didn't want to lug that big old thing around, and I wasn't going to be able to get it on there. So I would have to probably mount it down there, and it had been clunky and long, and cables coming from there. So what I decided to do was I got a baby USB audio interface. Now, they don't call this an audio interface. They call it a... USB sound card and these are used for PCs but this is I believe a Sabrent and you get um, your mic in which is mono and then you get stereo headphones out and it's a little baby USB let me, let me turn it. little baby USB you know, see that now 
to USB. And then that's going to plug into here. So I'm going to get audio in and audio out of my iPhone. Bam, bam. So I'm going to go from the iPhone to here, from here to here, and then through this little pink part is where I'm going to plug in this. So I'll be able to avoid the tip ring ring sleeve adapter that I would have to buy in order to use it if this was one of those lightning to headphone adapters that they sell for 10 bucks or they give it to you with the iPhone that I lost of course so okay now this is a tip ring ring sleeve and the and this is my lav mic so I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna split my audio I'm gonna use a splitter which is this right here I'm gonna split the audio coming in from two different microphones and I'll be able to pick which one sounds better in post either my boomy boom or my lav mic okay and this is gonna be my splitter now if I wanted to just run audio just through this because it's a tip ring ring sleeve I can use Apple's $10 adapter and then go to the mic but if you notice this thing is used I see I try to buy things for my camera and my smartphone and if you notice, when you turn it off, you can plug it into your smartphone because it's got tip ring ring sleeve. And when you turn it on, it's for your camera. You get it? And it's got a little battery in here, and this is made by Insignia. Now, I'm going to list all the stuff in the description. Now, mind you, when you're doing audio... You don't ever want to use one of these. I mean, you can, but then your audio interface has to be plugged into the wall. So obviously, I'm going to be walking the floor, and this isn't going to cut it. I didn't want to pay $40 for apples, so I got one of these. It was 16 bucks on Amazon, okay? So my lenses were $119 a piece. This case, I think, is $39.99. This case is probably on sale for $19.99. Okay, I got the boom mic. I believe this was $21 on Amazon. I believe my lav mic is $40 or so in Best Buy or online. The smooth smooth Q I got on sale for $119. The Zecti I got off Amazon before it is now apparently you can't get it. This is Beast Grips alternative. I got this for I think 30 bucks. And I haven't showed you the Zesio because, or Zesso, it's because I kind of forgot. But I'll show you what's in that case if you guys want to know. Now, these are the batteries that I use for this. Now, it's supposed to last, they said, like 20 hours. So I got two of these, so that should work because I'm not going to be interviewing the whole time. But the one awesome thing about this uh, phone or mic is it came with this adapter, which is a cold shoe to a mic holder. So I can put this mic in here and then use this cold shoe. If you see right there, it's got a cold shoe. And it's got another cold shoe over here. And then it's got quarter mounts. That's where my uh, magic arm is connected. And this is the Zecti. And then you can put a 37 millimeter uh, lens on there. And now I'm gonna show you my 37. Now see, I put it all the way to the bottom because I'm going to use my moment lenses, which is just better glass. But I'm going to eventually get the Beast Grip 37mm Pro lenses to run with this. And, alright, let me show you some other things that I got. Um, I got this, so it's a cold shoe to quarter, so I can vice versa anyway in case I need to mount something crazy. So... I might find a way to mount this through the quarters and I don't know no I gotta go directly to the cold shoe but these are little pieces that I have and then I have this little plug uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not but it's a female um, headphone jack and then it splits the audio so let's say if I had a gaming mic I can plug in a gaming mic and get audio and microphone if I was vlogging vlogging with myself uh, not with myself but talking and vlogging walking the floor which is something I don't really do this is another cool little piece um, that 
uh, I believe you can only use with powered mics. I haven't really tried it yet, but I know it works on my Canon. So I just had it in here and started doing some research. It's got a cold shoe, and then you can monitor your audio. And then you can switch from mono to stereo. And this is a Ceramonix, and it's a SRAX100. And then you got your output, and then you got your stereo inputs, and your left and right, which are pretty... It's pretty cool, and then you can monitor the audio, let's say, if the mic is too hot. Because this, I use Filmic Pro, and I'm going to probably explore with a Movie Pro. But there's no way to turn this, this mic down. Now, in Filmic Pro, what it sees, when you plug this in, it sees this as an audio interface. And I've already tested it, and it works. The Sabre is like $8.99 on Amazon. Um, I don't remember what this is, but like I said, I'm going to put everything in the description and then I have one of these because I have a monopod and this is a quick release plate for my monopod and let me see if I can show you my monopod it's a quick release for this this is a little smooth pan head and it's a monopod with uh, some pretty dope feet in there for an iPhone, this is pretty good. I would never use these feet if I had a DSLR, but using it on the iPhone, it's pretty dope. So I could be sturdy. So there's another monopod that doesn't have that piece. It's just the the male to female right here, which is a tripod mount, basically. Okay, and when I the reason I really bought this, I think this thing was really cheap on Amazon, is it came with this. And if you look closely, this is a Bluetooth trigger for video for Android and iOS. And this is Bluetooth. So before I got this, which that little record button right there, when Bluetooth paired, you can use that as a start and stop for the original Apple, um, the original camera app with Apple, sorry, and the third party apps like Filmic Pro, and movie pro so this thing can start and stop and this thing can start and stop so when I'm using this I'm probably gonna velcro this somewhere on here or mount it somewhere here so I can start and stop because this isn't Bluetooth or if it is it doesn't work with cell phones so I got a heavy rig and then I got the light rig now let me show you what else came with this uh, Zesso Bluetooth and to me, it was all worth it for that little thing right there, the little remote. All right, let's see if I can open this with one hand. And I'll show you. This was the first little bit of kit that I got when I was doing some iPhone. I've been having an iPhone for forever. So, okay, this did not come with the kit. I just put it in there. But as you see, it's a little... Um, adapter for your phone now I haven't seen too many I've seen these on those cheapo selfie sticks and I just took it off and the reason I like it is because you put your phone in here and then this part stretches out if you see the mechanism it can stretch out and then you can put your phone in there so let me see if I can put a phone in here right, this is what I got this for just to show you this okay so let me see if I can do this one handed give me a second okay I don't think I can do it with one hand it's not going to do it but basically this thing stretches out in two ways it stretches vertically and um, horizontally for our landscape mode or whatever you guys and then you put your phone in there and it gives you a little handle to hold on to when you're using the moment lenses um, so that's something I have in my kit as well and then I have a 37 37 millimeter um, little ND filter or it might be a polarizer um, it might be I gotta look but that's why I bought that and then before I got the Zecti, I was using this clamp, which is a 37 millimeter clamp or a threaded 37 millimeter threads. 
And then it came with this right here. This goes on the Zecti, which is, it goes right here. You screw this in right here. Now the reason I took this thing off is because the distortion in this is really ridiculous. But it's a cheap old little um, lens. Like, I don't care about all that because the remote, to me, this part right here and this little plastic tripod, and then see, I got another one right in there. It didn't come with two, but I happened to buy another one once I seen what it could do. So I bought this whole bit of kit, which I think was like eight bucks, this little Zes Zeso for the remote, wherever, for this little thing right there. That's really what I bought it for. So when putting this on, you screw, unscrew this, and then you got your little lens. Okay, so, but to me, the fact that I can put this and thread it right in here, I can use that as a ND filter or whatever that is. I can't remember. I can't even lie and tell you I know. But to me, that was all worth that, that little piece of kit. And this is kind of cool because what, what it does is, well, let's say you want to do time lapse. This is the time lapse king to me right here. See these? This is pressurized. You push these in, and then you can open it. So now you got a pistol grip. You see that? You got a pistol grip, and then you can mount this with the with um. Where is that piece at? With this right here, you can put your phone on here, and then put this on here. And that's a little manual. Now, if you don't want to hold the pistol grip, what you can do is you open this up. And now you got a time lapse tripod. And if you want to let this back down, you can angle it. And it's pretty sturdy because it clicks into place. See what I'm saying? I got a lot of crap on here, but. There you go. That's the little plastic tripod. That thing breaks away. And I mean, it's a neat little thing. You just grab it, grab it, bam, bam. You put it away. I like that. That's pretty smooth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video went way longer than I expected. But this is my little bit of kit that I'll be taking to NAMM 2020 to get my interviews in with a few of my friends, a few of my coworkers, a few of the people that I respect, a few of the people that I admire, people that I want to learn from, some of my teachers, some of the people that I hope to teach. Anyway, it's your favorite fat boy, Shazam, the iPad producer with my NAMM gear. All right, see y'all later. And I'm Shazam, the iPad producer from Riverside. How you doing?